The State Department represents America around the world, and the lady that's now in charge of DEI says America is a failed experiment filled with racists, misogynists, and run by the male patriarchy. And she is in charge of diversity at the State Department. And Blinken, Secretary of State, is bragging about her. You're not going to believe this. The Biden administration has a new State Department diversity chief. Oh, shocker. In her past, on her resume, she called America a failed historic model, and she's demanded the destruction of tradition of er at every juncture on the altar of anti-racism. Her name is Zikia Carr, and she's the chief diversity inclusion officer at the State Department. Blinken our Secretary of State says she brings a fresh perspective. <laughs> very, very fresh, right? Wow. Very fresh. She has been a member of some bizarre companies. She ran a DEI consulting firm. She had a company called Black Women Disrupt, where she would obviously get Black women to disrupt things. Um, her YouTube channel, get this, was so popular, she had 125 followers. 125. Really? Yeah. I mean, wow. you and I pick up a 1,000 a week, so I, she's not doing so well on her popularity. She said, we, we live and work within systems so deeply rooted in patriarchy and colonialism and racism and otherism. I don't know what that means. We have to be very resistant to, sh we are resistant to shifts and changes. It's uncultural uncomfortable for many colleagues. A culture of misogyny has allowed men to act without consequence. And she goes on and on about how America needs to be changed and the system brought down. We have to refuse our colonizing past. And on and on, I'm reading, we can't have equity without dismantling the structural racism in America, without dismantling the patriarchy and heterosexualism. In other words, you hetero <laughs> enemy of the people, uh, white supremacy, <laughs> and on and on and on. I mean, I, I, I'm looking at her writings on critical race theory, intersexuality. Uh, she says, I demand intersexuality, intersectionality in all spaces. She is a supporter of Mark Lamont Hill, who was so crazy, CNN fired him for proclaiming that Israel should be wiped off the map. Good on CNN on that one. But she's a supporter. Uh, she also thinks Hamas isn't a bad idea. I'm, I'm going on and on and on and on and on. Uh, she's the head of diversity at the State Department. You want to know why our foreign policy is, is so screwed up? She's in charge of the whole State Department worldwide for DEI. You wouldn't qualify you racist, <laughs> white supremacist, <laughs> heterosexual, <laughs> patriarchy, dominant guy. Yeah. I mean, you'd... Yeah. Mega Republican. <laughs> well, that, that kicks you out in about 30 seconds and, and, yeah. and makes this big speech about how great she is. She looks like a monster. I'm reading her quotes. I could go on for five minutes. He talks, Blinken talks about how we continue to attract and retain the nation's top talent at the State Department. Where do they find these people? Do they go on there and for purposely find these people that have this type of viewpoint? I mean, it's just, really? You know, if President Trump, let's, let's okay, look, let's just say the roles were reversed here, and this was, you know, a Trump administration, and they were bringing in someone who was completely pro-American, even pro-Israel, mind you, okay, and was, you know, just the opposite of this woman. They would have a fit. They would have a fit. What is happening to our world? What is going on? And then he, what, what was the statement you said that she's bringing new, new ideas or a fresh, fresh look on things? I mean, <laughs> what? I mean, if, if you, if, I guess if you believe wokeism is a new, fresh look on things, I guess that would be factual. I guess. I, I just don't understand. I, I guess a new idea is a different way to spread hatred. <laughs> 